More than 80 days away from long showers, dry land and fresh food. But now that they're here, they want the locals to enjoy their first ever tour of this ship. I'm Rose Alabone. Steve Irwin, no longer just known for his antics with crocodiles, but for his efforts to save wildlife worldwide. And that legacy is a big part of today. The crew of the SS Steve Irwin are here docked at Dunedin Wharf, and they've already started work preparing the ship for their next big adventure. The Sea Shepherd is a sea-bound symbol of global efforts to end slaughter in the world's oceans. Now for the first time the public will get a taste of what life is like aboard the vessel at a series of free tours for this week only. A few small repairs were underway to make sure everything was ship-shaped to receive the crowds of curious tourists, but mostly the crew were looking forward to a well-earned freight. It's fantastic, it's so good to be on land. What's, what's Antarctica like? Cold, cold. cold. <laughs> Up to 's lived together in such close quarters, everyone, including the captain, had strong ideas about what they were most looking forward to doing on their first day off in quite a while. It's been at sea for so long. Yeah, so, so you're not allowed to take any, so it's all dehydrated stuff. And yeah, and we've, like, we left port on December 3rd, I think, so we haven't been back to land, so whatever we had, and we got a, one resupply from another ship. Yeah. What's sure. the first thing you feel like doing today We're on back on terra firma? I would like to have a beer. <laughs> Captain Wanda Lublink says Steve Irwin's legacy lives on every time the eponymous vessel sets sail. It was very hard for us to actually uh, locate the Japanese whaling fleet. When we finally did on the 15th of January, unfortunately they had already killed one of the, the minke whales. When Steve Irwin died, uh, he was actually due to come on that next Antarctic campaign and we contacted Terry Irwin. And we had heard that, you know, she was hopeful that, you know, when Steve had died that he was out there ramming Japanese whaling ships. So it was quite a, uh, a fitting thing that we asked if uh, she'd be happy if we named the ship the Steve Irwin. The boat is open to the public this Saturday and Sunday between 10am and 5pm. Rosal Lebone, The South Today.